All right, y'all. So today I want to talk about what For Neverworld said in this video. Now, this video came out four months ago, and uh, he says everything I pretty much have said that uh, indie manga comic space is totally jacked. People are full of their ego and how people of color in the industry always be fighting each other, killing each other like it's a third world country. It's absolutely insane. Uh, but, you know, it just proves yet more that everything I've been saying without even seeing this video is actually true. <clears throat> uh, for never, This is for Neverworld, you know. Everybody knows For Neverworld. Everybody grew up on For Neverworld. And uh, he's struggling. He's struggling to, to, to get like a team to come along and help him out with his, his own manga. He got screwed by Neo Caesar with his manga. Once again, that damn Negro who claimed to be an NBA player. Uh, but apparently he never played for any particular league. So uh, it's kind of weird. But as he says that these guys are mustache twirlers, they are very excited to screw people over. They are very excited to exploit people. And for Neverworld tries to uh, defend people, those who are socially awkward and stuff like that, that they don't know any better. Well, I'm not going to defend you. People like that, that's your problem. Sorry, but that's your problem. You have to man up. You can't just be a shut in. You get screwed over. Like the guy who created Boneyard got screwed by Frederick, then makes another video talking smack against me, and then he wants to worship Frederick for screwing everybody over. That's what I call somebody suffering from Stockholm Syndrome. That's what I call a sissy boy, a man baby, a hunchback. This community is filled with hunchbacks. And I'm done with this hunchback society. You know? So we're going to take a listen to this, and then I'm going to announce some positive news for once. And whoo, hallelujah for this uh, positive news, you know. But anyways, let's hear what For Neverworld is saying about this. His words, not mine. He dropped this uh, four months ago. They read, they're, they're excited to fuck you over. It's strange. It's so strange. Especially, especially what really gets me is when it be our own. When it be the ones of people of color that are just... At the drop of a hat, ready to do you dirty, ready and excited to do you dirty, and then on top of that, I'm gonna go on a, on a massive spree of trying to make it justified of why they did you dirty. And again, I don't speak on this just from hearsay. Sure, I've heard a lot, but I've also seen a lot, and I've also experienced a lot firsthand. You see, now this is this is crazy. Do be saying people of color. That includes, well, everybody that's not white, I guess. I don't like that term, people of color. What the hell? But anyways, people of color usually come from the third world country, right? So that third world nonsense is now infiltrated. It has infiltrated the West. And now they be screwing each other over as they do here in the depths of Africa. They get excited by screwing each other over. It is their mission. I remember a long time ago. When I started analyzing all of this, what's up, what's up with these niggas? They flatter you, and then they, 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 gain, they get your trust, gain your trust, and then they start lying, and then eventually they're going to steal something from you, and then they're going to laugh about it, and then they're going to gaslight you and say, nah, bro, it's your fault. You did this, bro. It's not me. Yeah, 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 nigga. It's out of this world crazy, and to see that this behavior is now like in the Western side of things, that's kind of sad. That is really sad. I mean, hey, isn't this what I've been saying? That, oh, man, West going to be like Africa. You don't want this to happen. Looks like it's happening. Look, I, I, this is crazy. I can't believe when Neverworld said all this, you know? But once again, Coffee Comics was right. Coffee Comics was right. Everything I've been saying was just to try and make sure that it doesn't get this far, but it has. Because we have a bunch of Mr. Boneyards running around with their boneheads, right? Defending these jacked up publishers. Aye, aye. 100% my own eyes done to me, seen by me, done to other people, heard by me from other... Like, it's just so nasty out here. Why would you do that to people that they just... Yo, this is probably one of the closest things to being an innocent thing. 
Bro, you just want to freaking draw some comic books, bro. You want to make your little cartoons. Why would people be like vultures preying on these people, dog? It is sick, especially, again, I got to stress, especially our own. Honestly, and I say this with so much love for my people. You see, especially our own. The fact that he emphasizes that greatly, man, it makes sense why people in Pakistan want to go to the West and not Saudi Arabia. It makes sense why people in, in Palestine want to go to the West and not Egypt, right? And not Saudi Arabia, not Dubai, right? It's because they, those people have no love for one another. They, they, can, they can worship their God of, of uh, peace and whatnot, but they hate one another. Why don't they open the doors for their fellow neighbor? It's always got to be the West who got to open the borders, open the doors that come on through. When Ukraine was in trouble, right? Other European countries open the doors for the women and children. The Palestinians are in trouble. Saudi Arabia's doors are shut, closed to the max. Right? Closed shut. Allahu Akbar, right? Yeah, I, I didn't think so. So this is a tragedy that this, this barbarism has entered the West. And it's so deep in there. That for goodness sake, it's affecting the comic book industry. Guys, we just want to draw comics. We just want to draw comics, man. And now you're going to bring this barbarian stuff up in there? This is straight up ridiculous. But, oh well. At least I know I did my best. And for Neverworld created his own thingy. I, I, man, I wish he had a website on it. Called Blackfire. Right? Maybe it's on his link tree. And uh, he wants people to link up. I sent him an email, right? Hopefully he's going to respond and, you know, so we can talk about this. I'd like to even interview for Neverworld. That'd be, that'd be amazing. I mean, I grew up on this guy, you know? So let's hear the last part, what he says here. I'll be a competitor at some given point. Nasty energy. If I was on, like, if this was me a few years back before I started to become the man I am today, the person I am today, it would just be ugly out here. But why, dog? Because the same things that I'm saying, I want to see all these people win, dog. I want to see a lot of these black-owned corporations do incredible great things and be up there and, you know, be a competitor at some given point to the Shueishas and Shonen Jumps. I want to see that. So why would I go out here and start saying this, that, and the third about this one? See, the dude wants to see um, people cooperate. The foundation of progress is cooperation. It is collaboration. There is no cooperation and collaboration in the jungle. Right here, uh, the rule of the law or the law itself is power. Power and cunning, cunningness. If you can lie, cheat, deceive, and actually be stronger than your neighbor, that means you have an advantage. You don't need to collaborate with your neighbor to build the local church or the local tree house or whatever. No, screw your neighbor. You're going to cut down his tree, steal all his grapes, everything. Right? Set his whole garden on fire because you don't want him to have more grapes than you. But if y'all collaborated, he could have planted the grapes. You could have taken the grapes and made some grape juice. And then the community thrives. But no, unfortunately, the mindset of the barbarians is that it's all about me, 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 the ego. Whoever turns to his ego embraces the barbarian inside of them. And if you are a barbarian, you cannot produce anything. You are only a destroyer. Plain and simple, you are a destroyer. You want to be worshipped through getting compliments and likes and all this stuff? You're not really contributing anything. Just like the barbarians here who took over... Right? They want to be glorified and worshipped for things they did four million years ago. But while the streets are running rampant with sewage and all that stuff, but they still want to say the white man did it. It's like, nah, dude. How's about you just do your job? How's about you just collaborate with those who know better? Nah, that's just not how it is. It is frightening and crazy that this is the case. Makes you wonder, is there any hope for this in this space? Oh, yes, there is. At long last, I have found, I have found the secret, well, 
Is it a secret? Well, they were low key. They were underground. Point is, it's going to be crazy, y'all. Next month, close to Christmas, something big is going to happen. We, we're going to make an announcement. But th this is the good news is that Coffee Comics is now officially part of something that been cooking up. Dudes were in the lab and they got some heat. They got some heat and Coffee Comics is now part of that. Bloody Hell is now part of that. And I can't reveal it now, but I want y'all to know that at long last, Bloody Hell has a home. Coffee Comics is now part of something. And uh, whew, that takes a lot of pressure off because now there were people who were cooking underground after all. There were people who were learning from the Forever Worlds, learning from the mistakes of the Saturday AMs and other people and whatnot. And they took that and improved it. And I did a proper assessment of this thing. I was like, man, y'all got something crazy up in here. So, at long last, these were not talkers. These were doers. These, were, these are people who embody the principles of Coffee Comics. Long before Coffee Comics even came along. So it's very interesting that, man, this collaboration, this cooperation with them, which they've been collaborating and uh, cooperating amongst each other for a while, this is exactly what's going to make a difference. And y'all are going to see it. You're going to see it drop next month near Christmas. Get ready. Anyways, Back to the video. Let's hear this last important part here. One and that one and that one and this one. Because I want to see my people win. I want to see my people win. I don't want to see people lose. I don't want to hurt nobody. I want us all to win. Why can't y'all feel the same way? Empathy. Your consciousness. Tap into it. Please. Because instead of us fighting each other, we could be fighting our way to the top. If all of us wasn't with all of this bullshit and fighting... And for like a solid year, all these corporations, all these creatives, all these artists just banded together. We easily would make the next Shonen Jump and easily start rivaling these dudes in a heartbeat. If all of these corporations, these indie, indie web comics that, you know, the problem is too, everybody is racing because they want to be the one. That's another massive issue that we're all facing. Everybody wants to be the one. They want to be Neo, baby. Yeah, that's the major thing. That's what causes all the infighting. Man, on this thing that I'm part of, these guys pretty much, nearly pretty much embody that verse that says, whoever wants to be first must be last. Right? As for Neverworld puts it here, that everybody wants to be the one, but instead you should be zero. That's a principle that people forgot where it comes from. But now you see the power of, if you want to be first, be the last. If you want to be the greatest, be the servant. Serve the idea. Serve the mission. Right? So that everybody gets to eat. But if you want to be the superstar, you are self, you yourself and get the, the shine by yourself, then it's not going to work very well. You're not going to cooperate with nobody. Egomaniacs and all. So, it's that simple. If you want to be first, be last. Do not serve yourself. Serve the idea because the idea is bigger than you. Plain and simple, it's that simple. If you are under a movement or whatever, you're serving the movement. In service to the movement, you serve yourself. Because if the movement prospers, you prosper. Hello, common sense. But now nah, people want to be Dave ba Batista. They want to be John Cena. They want to always be the dudes getting the spotlight. Don't work like that. Everybody wants to be that dude. We did it. We did it first. You want to be one. And a lesson that I learned very strongly is the problem is you're not trying to be zero. And most people ain't going to understand that. Most people are going to say that it's bullets. What are you talking about? That's the problem. You want to be one. 
when you should be trying to be zero. But yeah, man, I just, I had to uh, really speak on that because it's been bothering me. I've seen a, a situation yesterday, but it's not just that situation, dog. It's so many situations. I really hate that the ego and the pride and all that stuff really stops us from how easily we would take over, bro. And not even take over, because I don't want it to sound like we're trying to conquer. I'm just saying achieve where we're trying to go. Because if we all banded together, a solid year of just putting everything together, create something great, in a few years, we all go our separate ways and do our own thing regardless. So why is it we can't band together for a small period of time, get to the destination, and then we slowly all branch off and create a renaissance of black-created comic publishers? Put the ego away. Kill the ego. Ego must die. If I was running on ego right now, you know the dumb shit I'd be doing? And that's the problem. Ego. Kill that shit because it's not doing nothing. We're all still right now at squat because, again, everybody wants to be one. Stop trying to be one because it ain't working. Hello. None of us has made it to the freaking promised land of where we're trying to be. None of us are shown in jump. None of us are even close. How about we all band together and stop the malarkey? And, but the crazy thing is the greed is like a, a hypothetical greed because there's not major money right now. With everybody slinging these comics that really nobody knows because nobody is established. You know what I'm saying? And the, the, the fallacy in all of it too is, guess what? The one, if there was going to be one, it already happened a long time ago. Shout out to Dwayne McDuffie. Shout yeah, guys. Well, you heard it from Forever World. I didn't talk to him. I want to talk to him. Yo, Forever, if you see this, I sent you an email. Please check it out. Um, I pretty much want to interview you, man. And... Um, you know, let's do something together. But anyway, it's that simple, people. But the thing that I am part of now, more details on that eventually. But man, it just, I just feel great right now. Um, I felt like blowing my brains up the other day because, because of this insanity. When I first saw this video, I was like, oh man. You mean to tell me all the West is pretty much Afghanistan right now? You know, like, ah. but these dudes that I'm working with right now, they saw all of that. They know what they're doing. They're on lock. They're serious. They have a sense of urgency. Everything that I be talking about, they embody it. So y'all going to see what that looks like. You're going to see a united front at last. Because those who are still scratching their heads, scratching their testicles for whatever reason and not trying to do their work, well, you missed the bus. Because now I ain't in full control anymore. Uh, I just represent what I represent. But ultimately, now to be a part of what I'm going to be a part of, I ain't in control of that no more. And uh, entry level to, go, to get into that yeah, it's going to be pretty high. So you missed the bus. You're sitting there scratching your testicles. You missed the bus, bro. I told you. But at the end of the day, good news. Well, for me, I guess. Good news for the movement because, hey, they win. I win. We win. And more people will be inspired. So stay tuned because it's going to be real cool. For never... Send me an email, bro, or check your email or send me a DM or something. Till next time.